So start stamping your feet. Start clapping your hands. Start cheering for Jack Wilkins. Yes, Liverpool, how are we? So as Carl said, I have changed my name. Uh, my name I'm now going by is Jack Wilkins. I've been doing comedy for about six months and found out someone's using my real name, Jack Wilson, and uh, they've had to change their name because they're a teacher. All I'm saying, hiding your name from kids, nonce. Uh, so I did the mature thing, found out his real name, so I'm Jack Wilkins. <laughs> I do have ADHD and spelt it with an E and Instagram won't let me change it. So, uh, yeah. Um, like I said, recent diagnosis of ADHD. I went on holiday recently and found out Coke does the same thing as my medication. <laughs> Whilst my mates were bouncing around the dance floor, I was bouncing between comparison sites trying to sort my travel insurance. Uh, my dad, no, oh, no, wrong bit. <laughs> I'm dating a non-binary person, sometimes presents male, sometimes presents female. Uh, it's my first queer relationship. The only difference between this and every heterosexual relationship I've ever had is how much I lie when I say you look great without makeup. <laughs> my dad, see, now it's a good bit. Uh, my, da <laughs> my dad took me being in a queer relationship really well, way better than if I was American. Yeah hates Americanisms. I remember once I said sh sh schedule as a kid. It is not a schedule, Jack. It's a schedule. You are not American. Can we just get on with the custody schedule, please, Dad? <laughs> my, uh, my partner is supportive in all the right ways and takes the piss in all the right ways, in my opinion. So I've just got off the phone with the doctors telling me I've got ADHD. I'm, I'm officially disabled and I'm sat... <laughs> That's okay, mate. I word it like that to try and get a laugh, <laughs> comedy. Um, <laughs> and I was sat on our little French sofa thing, a little bit depressed, and she looked at me and just went, who's my Shay Mong on a Shay Long? <laughs> okay, that's not funny, that's fine. <laughs> uh, we recently did a 23andMe test. I am 99.2% Northern English and Irish. Don't have a punchline for that bit, but we'll uh, move on. Um, my partner though, she is 33% Nigerian. And if you go back through the ancestry, it tells you, it goes like year one, uh, your first generation, Africa, Africa, Africa. My ADHD went, ooh, what happened there? <laughs> that was the start of pissing her off, so it only got worse. So it also tells you on 23andMe that if not everyone in this room, everyone in the world goes back a thousand generations, you get back to one East African woman. Now, what I didn't know was going through my partner's head is, oh my God, my spirituality's right. We are all connected. Oh my God, this is amazing. What's he going to say? I just went, what a slag. <laughs> oh, um, my mum's mate, uh, Sandra, she is the peak of middle-aged Facebook. My mum doesn't have Facebook, thank God, no social media. She's still got TV guys from when Dirty Den came back. The pa my, spare, my parents' spare room's got more magazines than the Vegas shooter. <laughs> I like his laugh, it's great. <laughs> my, um, what was I gonna say? I've completely forgotten. Oh yeah, Sandra. And uh, my mum rang me the other day and was like, what have you said to Sandra? She's rung me upset. So Sandra does three posts every day. One inspirational quote, one tribute to a dead artist, and probably a racist Daily Mail article. <laughs> and on the day in question, the first post was a tribute to Whitney Houston and an anti-drug post. The second was some bullshit motivational quote, and the third one was a Daily Mail article about migrants in the channel. So, the quote, what you thought was drowning you was teaching you to swim. I just commented, this doesn't really fit the theme of today, Sandra. <laughs> Whitney drowned. <laughs> I um, stayed at a gay resort recently. Best week of my life. Did take me three days to find out that was not a saltwater pool. <laughs> there was a, a group of lads at the bar and they were talking about the Colombian coming. I had my key out, so excited. 
gutted when a Colombian man walked around that corner in hot pants. <laughs> but he said something to me, something I will never forget. He went, you, you don't even have an inch of gay in you. Glad I had more than an inch in me this morning. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> but there was uh, this fella by the pool, and uh, we were having, me and my partner having a few drinks, having a spliff with him. Quadriplegic fellow, had no arms, no legs, but he was dead lovely. <laughs> That bit wasn't meant to get a laugh. <laughs> and um, we're having a really nice chat, really nice time. And he just got us getting dead upset. And he goes, just, I don't get affection very often. Not the hug in years. So I stood up, give him a hug. A few more shots, a few more spliffs. And he gets upset again. And he goes, I've never been kissed. Now my partner, knowing that this is my first queer relationship, starts encouraging this, going, go on, Jack, give him a kiss, give him a kiss. Fuck it. Shot, necked him. On with it. About 20 minutes later, he started crying again. And I was like, mate, what's, what's wrong? He's like, I've never been fucked. <laughs> My partner starts encouraging it again. So I picked him up, started walking him towards our room. <laughs> fucking threw him in the pool. <laughs> well, now he's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that is where I regret being at an old gay resort. They're all boys, he just bobbed up and down. <laughs> See, I told that joke the other day, and an American in the front row, the joke died, by the way, and then I did that little tag, and an American just laughed and went, why do you call buoys boys? Because <laughs> they're not fucking buoyant, are they, you cunt? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna set the scene. Getting bummed hurts. <laughs> I don't normally make eye contact in this position. Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> Not without a cock in my mouth, anyway. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. I had to say something fast on the spot to make it slow down without killing the mood, because I learned, ow! Doesn't really do the job. I quoted Cardi B. Oh, yeah. Put that truck right in my little garage. <laughs> this is what you're doing with your life, Jack. Fuck it. There's a few reasons why that's embarrassing. One, it didn't work. She laughed that hard she turned into a vibrator. <laughs> but the main issue is when the last thing you want to hear running through your head while you're getting fucked up the arse is your dad screaming, it's a fucking garage, Jack. <laughs> I've been Jack Wilkins. Thank you very much. Jack Wilkins, everyone!